What's going on, people? It is your boy, Mr. Noland here. All right, before we get started, I need you to get a pencil and paper. You are to try the problem on your own. And then if you do not get it correct, you should be watching this video. Everything I write down, you should write down so you have some examples. All right, number one says, the dot plot below shows the number of runs scored by the Tigers and Panthers during their last 15 baseball games. Here are the two dot plots. Which of the following is not true? So we're looking for the false statement. Answer A says the spread. Guys, spread is the same as the range, which is your maximum, the dot furthest to the right minus the minimum, the dot furthest to the left. So the spread for the Tigers, so here is Tigers, the dot furthest to the right is 11, minus the dot furthest to the left is 1, so that's your max minus your min. That gives you a spread or range of 10. The Panthers your spread is 8 minus 0, which is 8. Now it says the spread for the Tigers, which is 10, is 2 more than the spread for the Panthers, which is 8. Is 10 2 more than 8? Well, 10 minus 8 is 2, so that is true. Again, I'm looking for the false statement. Okay, the next one says the median. I'm going to hold off on that because we have so many dots. Let's go ahead and do the mode. The mode is the number on the number line that has the most dots on it. So the mode for the Tigers is 2. And the mode for the Panthers is 4. Now it says... The mode for both the Tigers and Panthers is 4. Well, that's false. We already figured out the mode for the Tigers was 2. That's false. That would be our answer, but I do want to go over the couple other answer choices. The data for the Tigers and Panthers are not symmetrical. Guys, symmetrical means it's like a butterfly. If you were to cut a butterfly in half and put the wings together, the left side looks like the right side. So if I were to cut this in half right here and fold it over, does the left side look like the right side? No, that's not symmetrical. So this is actually a true statement. And now how do you find the median? To find the median, you start by putting the numbers in order from least to greatest. So in this case, I have a one. I have four twos. I have two fours, I have three fives, I have two sixes, I got a seven, an eight, and eleven. Once you have the numbers in order from least to greatest, cross one off the front, one off the back. Front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back. Ooh, I got one number in the middle, that would be considered your median. Okay, I am not going to do the median for this one. I'm not going to finish this. We already figured out the answer was C. I just wanted to reiterate how to go over median from a dot plot. 